In this video, we are about to test, how many Edge and Chrome tabs can an ordinary laptop, with an Intel Core i3 processor and 8GB of RAM, can handle without crashing. So let's start opening several YouTube tabs and monitor the performance in the task manager on the right. notice that while opening tabs, the CPU is mostly at 100% utilization and the RAM utilization is also high. While I wait for all the tabs to load, the CPU utilization throttles down, and then once the RAM reaches around 95%, it uses the disk space as RAM. Even after opening 100 tabs, Edge always responded when I used the shortcuts to open a tab and then paste the link, but when I got to around 260 tabs, it didn't respond twice, and then again at 315 tabs it didn't respond. But later again it worked. While this process is running, you might have noticed some tabs are grayed out, that is because Microsoft Edge is trying to save resources by putting them to sleep or discarding them. With this technology this browser has managed to open 606 tabs in a normal PC, and you can see, when I hover over the icon in the taskbar it shows that I have opened 606 tabs, and it doesn't even show the preview.
So now it's time to test Google Chrome on how many tabs it can open without crashing. Let's get into it. So starting off, Chrome is really faster than Edge, but after reaching 200 tabs, it started slowing down, and eventually, at the end where it had 554 tabs, it crashed. So in comparison to both browsers, Chrome is faster, but consumes resources, and Edge is not fast or slow, and it consumes less resources. In conclusion, Microsoft Edge leads with an extra 52 tabs. So that's the end of the video, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.